you um, got a lot of headlines on the Sam Darnold thing, and I and I laughed because I knew exactly where you were going, but I knew exactly what kind of reaction it was going to get nationally. And sure enough, you know, you got people just who's this Matt Mayoko guy, you know, and 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 every time it gets thrown out by other people wanting to use it as a discussion launch point, which it does. I saw Sims and and Amid uh, um, Ahmed uh, Farid uh, talking about it the other day on NBC. Um, well, Matt Mayoko, and then they always everybody always champions your credentials, which you know means a rip is coming, right? Matt does a great job, and he's been covering the team for a long time. Oh, and he on, said, did Chris Sims rip on me? <laughs> no, they didn't rip, oh. but you know, it's so easy to be like, Well, I don't know if it's better than Joe or Steve, but I understood what you were saying. What you were saying had not, you weren't saying that Sam Darn was a better quarterback than these guys, you were saying that if you just strictly looked at the mechanics of the strong arm pocket passer thrower that this guy throws the ball down the field as well as anybody who's ever suited up for the Niners and I started thinking immediately not Joe and Steve I started thinking of guys like Druck and Miller and yeah. some of these guys who actually really did have a howitzer somewhere you know um along the line there's probably some backups but um what what <laughs> your 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 comment obviously got a lot of pushback to the point where you're like well you know, I said, he, you know, he might be, he might yeah. not be yeah. as well. Right. Um, talk a little bit about what you actually saw from Sam Darnold in the OTAs and, and what you really meant by that, that whole point. Yeah. I mean, I, I think he looked exactly like I kind of thought he would, you know, and he's, he's a talented guy. I mean, you do not get picked number three overall. I mean, it kind of goes back to what we were talking about is that, you know, the, the high draft picks, you know, if you're picked in the top, 10 you check all the boxes from the standpoint of just being able to throw a football and then once you in the you're, you get in the building then you know teams find out about the decision making the timing all those things so i mean yeah let's not misconstrue this i did not say sam darnold is the greatest <laughs> quarterback in the history of the nfl in fact i what i i mean how many times you talk about a good and the, the term I used was you know thrower. He's he's a really good thrower. And I don't think there's can be any debate on that. But how many times do you talk about a quarterback being a really good thrower? A lot of times the quarterbacks you talk about being a really good thrower, they're they're probably not a really good quarterback because you know I can think of you know the, the two Hall of Fame quarterbacks that followed each other, Joe Montana, Steve Young. I would not put thrower on the list of, you know, their attributes. Were they, were they incredible passers? Absolutely. But, you know, and, and I think in the cases of both of those guys, it was, I mean, you could go down the list of all the attributes that they have that made them great. And, and uh, the sum of those parts made them great quarterbacks. Nobody is saying that Sam Darnold <laughs> is a great quarterback. No. In fact, I mean, I've said, repeatedly since I made that comment, Sam Darnold's not, he hasn't even been an average NFL starting quarterback. He's been a below average NFL starting quarterback. And I don't think there's any denying that just like, I don't think there's any denying he has really impressive arm talent. So does he have a chance with the 49ers? You know, I think he does. It's Brock Purdy's job to keep him off of the field by staying healthy and, and getting healthy and, and holding on to that job. But, you know, if you're talking about just the ability to drop back and throw the football, I mean, Sam Darnold, I don't think there's any denying that he's, he's extraordinarily talented. And the reason he hasn't succeeded in the NFL up to this point has nothing to do with the arm talent, you know, it might be the decision-making, you know, at times, you know, uh, might be the accuracy, uh, yeah. The but ti I, the timing and the accuracy, all that stuff, yeah, all that stuff. And I think a lot of times a guy who has that kind of arm talent, you know, they, they make more mistakes because they rely on the arm talent more than you know maybe another quarterback. You know, maybe they wait a split second too long. You know, I think Steve Young often said, you know, if you if you're throwing to an open receiver that generally means you've waited too long. You have to throw to the receiver before he comes open 
or as he's coming open. You got to throw with you got to make those anticipatory throws. You got to throw with a little anticipation. Anticipation. You got to lead him to the open area, and yeah. that you know, and that's that's quarterbacking. Whatever, 3.0, 5.0, whatever you want, yeah. whatever you want to call it. It's funny because I you know, you talk about uh, Chris Sims. I I don't have it on my phone right now, but I, I read his ranking. So he ranked. You know, he's ranking the top, I think, 40 quarterbacks in the NFL. Didn't have Lance in the top 40 and Did had have- Purdy 26 and Darnold 27. Right. And, and But his comment for Darnold was very much in line with what I said. Like, he talked about the arm talent. And, you know, there, the reason that he put Sam Darnold 27 was because of his ability to flat out throw the football. And now let's see what he can do in a system. Like, you know. Obviously, the reason he hasn't succeeded, a lot to do with it. I mean, it's primarily on Sam Darnold's shoulders, but he also hasn't had a whole lot of help either. You know, it's a, a lot of different coordinators and in, in, with the Jets, a lot of uh, influx there. Heck, I was talking to Frank Gore, and he was he was reeling off who the receivers were on the team that when Frank was teammates with Sam Darnold with the Jets, and basically. You know, without throwing anybody under the bus, he listed off the receivers, and it wasn't a real impressive group. No. And then last year, uh, you know, he started to play. I think he started to play pretty well with the Panthers. But you know, this is clearly an opportunity where I think he and and Trey Lance are pretty similar in that um, it, for each of those guys, it's not necessarily the competition with the other guy. It's the competition with themselves. You know, it's Trey Lance worried about Trey Lance and trying to make himself better. And the same goes for Sam Darnold. Just trying to, he's a young guy. That's that's the crazy Only part. Only 25. Yeah. yeah. I see 20. He, I think he, Sam Darnold's 25. I think yeah, Trey yeah. and Brock are 23. Yeah. yeah. So he's still a young, young guy and still has, you know, maybe the ship has sailed, maybe not. Um but he's still such a young guy. You wonder what that upside is because he does have the one thing you can't teach. And that's just the ability to, to drop back and, and spin it. Well, and uh, you know, we all have watched a lot of football games, right? Um, there's turnovers are not turnovers in my mind. There's a turnover that when you're driving in the first quarter and you throw a pass and it gets picked off, but then there's also, you're down 17 points in the fourth quarter coming from behind and you're trying to play fast and you're taking some chances because you have to because you're a competitor and you're trying to win the game and now you throw a pick. Well, I looked at the numbers and the number of turnovers that Sam Darnold had when he was trailing in the fourth quarter with the Jets, I think have taken that statistic of his turnovers and and distorted it to the point where we all think he's a disaster but in reality, he was a guy who was trying to make plays on bad teams in the fourth quarter, and so he piled up. I'm just saying, let's say he has, he's got 15 or 16 turnovers, fumbles and or interceptions um, that are a result of being on a bad team late in the game, trying to make a play. Now, but uh, I will say this, though. The thing that makes this particular quarterback uh, competition between the three guys so interesting is there's all three of these guys have such – um, incredible uh, passion to to. I mean, Brock's trying to show everybody that what happened last year is not an accident. Trey's trying to establish himself as a legitimate franchise quarterback. Sam Darnold may be on his last legs as a starter, and th- if he can't make it here, he may not get another opportunity. So you got three guys that all have talent, but they're also really, really motivated, almost desperate to establish themselves. And I think it's going to make for an incredible um, summer in Santa Clara. 